What do you love the most about Italy? The landscape, the culture, the food? My name is Vincenzo from the food blog Vincenzo's Plate. And through eight foodie and adventure field days, I'm going to unlock what I love, the secrets of the greenest region in the boot, my native Abruzzo, where I grew up. I now live in Australia and haven't been back for a couple of years. So not only will you get to meet my family and friends, but together we will cook and eat our way through some of the treasures of Italy's best kept secret. Welcome to Italian Explored with Vincenzo's Plate. Welcome to Abruzzo. An unforgettable excursion unfolds next on a 300 hectare immaculately cured vineyard where we meet members of the Zaccanini family who have unsurpassed knowledge of wine and stand proud of their humble beginnings. Hi and welcome to Cantina Zaccanini here in Bolognano in Abruzzo. Ah, beautiful Abruzzo. This is a well-renowned wine recognized wine in Abruzzo and also around the world. 45 countries and five continents. <laughs> well done, <laughs> you know? This wine is simply amazing. It's also very close to our hearts because all of the Montepulciano di Abruzzo wine that we actually gave out as Bombinieri for our wedding were incredible because they were packaged right here in this cantina. So I'm looking forward to finding out much more about the story today. You always make videos more romantic, darling. <laughs> mm -hmm. Love you. Here we have Gianluca, Gianluca Zaccagnini, the third generation of the Zaccagnini family. He grew up with his grandfather. He, you know, he used to go to the winery with his grandfather, picking the grapes, smelling it and talking to the grapes since his young age. So now they talk the same language. So Gianluca, tell us more about you, about your family. E grazie alla passione di mio nonno, di mio padre e di mio zio, nonché l'enologo della cantina Concesio Marulli, che mi hanno trasmesso la voglia e tutto quello che c'è da sapere sul mondo del vino. Fin da piccolino andavo in vigna con mio nonno, con, con mio zio, a vedere cosa c'è da scoprire nel mondo del vino. E devo, posso solo che ringraziarli. Sì. Mi give you a hug. <laughs> Now, let's discover more about the Zaccagnini family. The atmosphere in Cantina Zaccagnini gives you a feeling of long-lasting tradition mixed with the class of the modern-day era. And amongst never-ending bottles of wine are renowned artworks which have also contributed to the creation of the brand's culture. This is my nonno, oh, wow. Ciccio, Zaccagnini. Ciccio Zaccagnini, a great man who protected Italy during the war and created this beautiful empire. Thank you. The growing success of Zaccagnini since its birth in 1978 is closely contributed to hard work and a strong dedication to producing absolute quality from cluster to glass. The philosophy of Zaccagnini is to produce a great organic wine, which is also a very, very high quality wine. And thanks to this machine behind me, Zaccagnini can produce a wine without sulfites and other chemical products. In an unexpected twist, we dive deeper into the divine vino and its scientific formula as we meet the head winemaker in his element, the laboratory. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have Concezio. Hello, Concezio. Hi, Ciao. how are you? I'm very well. How are you, Concezio? Nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to see you, and I can see you are working very hard today. Yeah, yeah very hard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Concezio is the man behind every, every bottle of Zaccanini. Diciamo che... Uno dei men. Uno dei men. C'è un'equipe molto valida dove tutti lavoriamo per far conoscere il 
territorio abruzzese in giro per il mondo. Il mondo. How to say that everyone is so beautiful here at Cantina Zaccagnini, but you have to experience yourself. You have to come here and talk to wonderful people like Concezio. Uh, so, Concezio, can you please show our friend Vu around? Vuoi fare un brindisi con me? Eh, of course. Eh? Eccoci qua, guarda. Oh, yeah. Mm. Eh? Montepulciano d'Abruzzo. I can smell Abruzzo in here. Colore. Mm. Time to celebrate. I can't wait. Cin -cin. Salute. Ah, I can definitely smell the taste of Abruzzo in this glass. Thank you, Concezio. Concezio, I have a question for you. How did the passion for wine started? Eh, la mia passione per il vino è nato da un errore di mia madre che nel biberon del, del latte invece di mettere il latte ha messo il vino e da lì è nata la mia passione. <ride> Concezio, sì. parlaci della filosofia di lavoro. La filosofia Zaccagnini è quella di ridurre al minimo l'impatto della chimica, eh, salvaguardando quella che è la qualità della nostra uva. L'uva abruzzese. With over 3 million bottles produced annually by the cantina, the production line barely ceases to get a break. 20,000 of these each month are the Stalcetto Montepulciano, which are adorned with the now infamously recognizable twig and rustic string. This embellishment is still positioned perfectly by hand. That's how Zaccagnini became famous. Can you believe they make 20,000 bottles of Zaccagnini and this is where the production slows down, simply because this is where the beautiful creation, the bottle becomes the most beautiful in the world. That's where they add this beautiful piece of art, the Tralcetto. Non dimentichiamoci che ci sono molte famiglie che hanno, grazie al Tralcetto, un lavoro. Because basically, here in Bolognano, lots of uh, families, they work on the Tralcetto every single day. So you got people, local people here, cutting the Tralcetto, the twig, every single day to make this creation possible. So, Thank you for helping the economy <laughs> in Bolognano. Sounds like a You're place where I should live. <laughs> You're welcome. This is the land of Montepulciano d'Abruzzo, and this is the protector of this wine, the Montepulcino. How creative is that? Wonderful. We are surrounded by the beautiful mountains of Abruzzo. Right there, we have the sea, and not far from the sea, we have the mountains. Here, this place is always uh, windy, which means this place has no humidity. And you know what that means? Uh, no bacteria at all in this place. So this wine is basically pure, beautiful, clear, and tastes amazing. this wine talk, we couldn't leave without tasting a drop. And what more perfect setting than amongst the Zaccanini vineyards, Vincenzo decided on the ideal accompaniment, cooking with his dad against this spine-tingling backdrop. From this uh, paradise, guys, welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. Here we are at the Zaccanini winery, Cantina Zaccanini, il nostro vino preferito. Eh certo, ci mancherebbe. <laughs> And today, we are made, and today we are making one of our favorite uh, pasta that Dad always make. Fettuccine with porcini, Abruzzo style. Ah, huh? sì, we sì. show the world how to make this uh, favorite pasta. Fortunatamente non manca niente in Abruzzo, quindi... Però ci manca qualcosa. Manca? Io ho capito cosa. Cosa? <laughs> eh, parlavi di Zaccagnini, eh, che manca il vino. Eh, 
Quindi? Eh, qui ci vuole l'esperto del vino. Eh, eh, come non chiamare Davide? Davide, eh, please. Eh. Guys, we have Davide here, the wine expert here at Zaccanini. Benvenuto. Grazie. Benvenuti voi. Davide, noi abbiamo sì. bisogno di un vino che va con questo allora, piatto. Allora, io personalmente per cucinare andrei più con il bianco di ciccio, leggermente acidulo, quindi si sposa bene con, con la cottura. So, to cook, we use this one. Perfect. Because we need a little bit of white wine. Invece, da, 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 da bere per degustare il piatto, ci posso pensare a te? Of course. Eh? Of course. Okay. Yes. Ok. okay. Ci abbiamo... Ok. E Davide would choose the right wine to drink with this dish. Ok, Prima. grazie Davide. Sarà Siamo in buone mani. Okay. Perfect. Buon lavoro. Perfect. Grazie. grazie. It's time to go into details. So, to make this pasta, we need 300 grams of porcini from the mountains of Abruzzo, one garlic clove, parmigiano reggiano, some fresh parsley, 500 grams of fettuccine made by my dad, organic extra virgin olive oil, and rock salt for the water. And an important ingredient that gives a, a great touch to this dish is the wine, which is? Bianco di ciccio. Now bring lots of water to boil into a large pot. Now we have this beautiful copper saucepan made here in Abruzzo. On a medium heat, we put the extra virgin olive oil, a nice amount. Let me basta, papà. We love extra basta. virgin olive oil in Abruzzo, basta. perfetto. You know why we love extra virgin olive oil in Abruzzo? Because it's beautiful, it's made here. Our people make it and we know it's genuine. Now we put the garlic inside because the garlic will give a nice flavor to the extra virgin olive oil. And then we remove it once it's cooked. When the garlic is ready, you remove it and then you put the porcini inside. And we cook it for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes lo cuciniamo, vero papà? Sì, 10 minuti e un quarto d'ora, al massimo. About 10 minutes, you can tell. A couple of minutes after you put the porcini, we need a little bit of wine. So Davide is taking the wine for us. Smell good, huh? Profumo è buono. Just a splash, quando ne vogliamo? Ah, mezzo bicchiere. Mezzo bicchiere? Sì, sì, buono. Thanks to Davide, this recipe will be much better. And now aspettiamo una decina di minuti da adesso. Aggiungiamo intanto un po' di prezzemolo. A little bit of parsley that you want to grate on top. Now we let the wine to evaporate. And when the wine evaporates, we're gonna add the secret ingredients. Just add a pinch of salt inside. When you cook funghi porcini, always cook it on an anti-stick saucepan, because if you cook it on an aluminum saucepan, it will get stuck there, you don't want that. Now, the water is boiling here, so that is gonna add some uh, rock salt. Perfect. When the wine ev evaporates, you put a secret ingredient, which is a glass of milk. And this is what is going to make the cream for this Forma dish. Cremina. Let it simmer for five minutes, and then you will see the cream. And at that point, we are almost ready to go. And now we cook the pasta for about three minutes. Fresh pasta is ready in about three minutes. Cooking with Dad, can you believe it? My master, my maestro. Thank you. I like your <laughs> The cream is almost ready. Add some Parmigiano Reggiano just to give the flavor. And then we add more later. Now it's time to get the pasta out and put in the sauce. Ready? Take some water out. Okay. But now we are ready to go and eat. Ah, vai, pronto? Ok, prontissimo. Ora andiamo a servire questo bellissimo piatto andiamo. a questa bellissima gente. Andiamo, dai. Con vero piacere, andiamo. Dai. Il prezzemolo, spolveratina. Ah, andiamo, 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 andiamo.
Signore e signori, la cena è servita. Grazie. Grazie. E io c'ho il vino. Quale vino hai? Eh, ho sfumato anche qualcuno dall'alto, però. Oh. È un santo. San Clemente. Oh. San Clemente. The best white wine that Zaccagnini has to offer. Eh, eh, eh. Oh. eh. Tartufo? You want truffle? Eh? Here is the fresh truffle <laughs> from Abruzzo. <laughs> fresh truffle from Abruzzo. Tell me when it's enough. Grazie. Enough? Grazie. We had such a beautiful day here at the Zaccagnini, Cantina Zaccagnini. Thank you so much for, to these wonderful people. The wine and the people are one better than the other. I don't know how to thank you enough. I love your wine so much. So now we need to enjoy this beautiful dish cooked by Dad. Thank you. Thank you. E allora? E allora adesso si mangia. Adesso si mangia. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo Zaspaiente. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Reflecting on the day we have had is a reminder of the essence of Abruzzo, the warmth of the people we have met, the tantalizing flavors we have savored, and the spectacular panorama we have enjoyed the entire way. This is the real formula that Italy is made of. It is right here, and it is not to be missed. Celano and Bolognano are just two examples of the gems you will uncover in the region, and if they are anything to go by, you may just never want to leave. Just make sure you appreciate them with the perfect drop of wine. Dove iniziamo? Dove iniziamo? <ride> Con te come ho iniziato prima? <ride> come ho iniziato prima? <ride> sai come si fa un brindisi? Sì. No, non, non lo sai. Eh no, Adesso... non ho il bicchiere. Oh. This is history. And a very important ingredient for this dish is the... Vai. Aspetta, scusa. <laughs>